Hello again, people of the internet. This is my sugar art sculptured figurine zombie couple build videos. I'm Ryan, and this is Ryan Does Everything, my series on random things that I'm putting together. In this build video, we're going to show the, uh, the zombie attack. Uh, so let's get started. I made some flesh color, and I made some white color to be the uh, the bones underneath the flesh of the zombies um, basically just formed these skull kind of shapes and uh, once I got them ready um, then I laid out kind of a basic body shape for each zombie put on some clothes and uh, that's pretty much it um, so I had this brown one and this was going to be in the front. Um, after I got the, the shape all figured out, I kind of made a leathery, cartoony, zombie look to it. Again, I didn't want to go too grotesque. Um, didn't want to scare people away. But, you know, there's bones and parts that are showing through. And So this guy sits down in the front, and he has caught the bouquet. And then there's this other guy in the back. And he has the piece of wedding cake that he swiped. Um, and then the only other zombie is uh, the uh, girl's, the girl zombie hand that's grabbing at the, uh, the wedding cake, um, pulling the, the table, tablecloth down. Um, so anyway, you'll see that in a little bit. Um, but basically I just uh, wanted to keep it simple and uh, I really would have liked to have more zombies but I couldn't do that because of the size so on to the flowers and finishing touches so I made this cast iron sticker to go on the cast iron pan and it here you can see it from the back I made uh, new shoes because uh, again I hated the first shoes um, I needed one sticking in the zombie's head and then the other one was going to be on the bride's foot so that was that was why I needed those um, and here's the process just used that hardened fondant and wrapped around so here's the uh, female zombie's hand she's going for the cake and this is the view of the cake topper this is the uh, glitter that's a toothpick sticking out so it's just to hold it up I put glitter all over the shoes it made a big mess um, then I put on pearl earrings on the bride and uh, a pearl uh, well this edible lace headdress with pearls inlaid into the uh, the veil and just kind of stuck those on with the, the ones that are in the veil I stuck them on just straight into the fondant and the other ones I used piping gel onto that edible lace and so you can see that um, also I wrapped some ribbons on the floor I mashed a cake that I didn't end up using it was fun <laughs> but uh, so the flowers on the cake itself are just press molds and uh, I made a whole bunch of those there was a problem that I had with these this color it was uh, pale pink anyway but after just overnight the pink started to fade away um, here's the the process of making these flowers I used the smallest mold I could and then also the smaller section of the bigger mold um, to get a little variation so that they weren't all exactly the same. This is how I made the buds. Uh, I rolled a thin, thin, super thin uh, pink fondant, twisted it, and just cut and twisted these little buds um, so that they look like flower, uh, you know, rosebuds, and uh, put those into the uh, bouquet and then also some on the cake itself and you'll see that in a little bit um, 
after I put the uh, the spray of the the colors or the the flowers in there, um, I decided it needed a little bit more detail, and so I made these leaves, and they are just just super tiny. You can see in comparison, if you remember how big those flowers were in in comparison to my hand, we're talking you know two three millimeters across um, in thickness. I, I, more more like I I don't know uh, an eighth of an inch triangle. Um, I covered up the uh, the rest of the sculpture and put uh, shiny sparkly gray on the knives and then. The last thing I did was stuck the uh, the pearls with edible piping gel on the, the female zombie's hand pulling down the tablecloth. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe for the next video and to keep up with everything I'm doing. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, go out and amaze yourself and learn something new. See ya.